Hello everyone, my name is Jack Fincham and most of you will know me from Love Island as the dad bod extraordinaire, that's how I roll. But I wanted you to see a different side of me and a dream that I wanted to realise of becoming a professional boxer. I've just moved back home and I live with my mum, my stepdad Fraser, my little sister Ruby, and five dogs. <laughs> Nicely. You wouldn't think he was trained. Was Sit. Good boy. No, it's not. That's not sitting, is it? I love being back home. I do. I love it. I don't care. I like it. I think I could probably do some form of stepbrothers type scenario easily. Yeah, but I, but I, I promise you, I left it downstairs and it's gone yeah, missing. I Someone. Eat, I think all the jerky's in here. <laughs> Having Jack back at home is, um, to me, a joy. He moved out for about six, six months. months yeah. My mum said I moved out for six months. I didn't, I moved out for a year, because I had two places for six months. That equals a year, mum. He keeps coming back with dogs, which is yeah. really a problem. We don't want no more dogs <laughs> now. Yeah, we've said dogs. to him, if you come, go and come back, there's no more dogs. Sit down. <laughs> I just like the family environment. You know, I don't like really, I don't particularly like being alone, and, do you know what I mean, and not having someone just to go and have a chat with or go and sit and watch telly with, that sort of thing. To me, Jack hasn't changed at all. He's still um, kind, he's still caring, um, he's still very, very family orientated. He's still the same boy to me. <laughs> I've had like an amazing two years where I've done things I could only have dreamed of. I've met some amazing people, I've had some fantastic experiences, one of them becoming a dad along the way but I want to realise one more of my dreams now and become a professional boxer, you know, and do it properly too. I found my old um, trophy bag the other day. Here we go. It's in good condition as you can see. There's a, there's a, there's a boxing trophy inside the Love Island uh, <laughs> and a rose for some reason. And Love Island condoms. Ah. <laughs> Box for the day, just saying. But I've always loved the sport of boxing, probably since about 12, I reckon. And then I tried football, but I was, I was, mate, I was useless. There was not, literally, there was no point having me on the team. And then my mum said, "Why don't you try, try boxing?" So me and my little brother both went to the boxing club. We just, yeah, took to it. Look, all my old videos in here. I was just like a skinny kid, wasn't I? I thought like, I'd, I'd be like a ripped geezer. What part of Jack's body do you think he'd be most upset to have injured in a boxing ring? Uh, probably his most face. his face, yeah, definitely. <laughs> he, face or teeth? He's very, very vain, so just hope they protect his face and puts his hands <laughs> up at all times. Representing Elton Amateur Boxing Club, Jack Fincham. Mate, it's, it's so weird watching it. This is like nostalgia, isn't it? Over the next six weeks, I'm gonna be putting myself through absolute hell. I know what's in store, I know what it takes to be a good boxer, but I just wanna get in there now, crack on and get started. It's Jack's So today I'm doing my promo shots ahead of my professional boxing debut. Sort of show bit shit, right? So. so it really does feel real now. There's, there's no turning back now, I can't back out now. You are turning professional. Yes, I am. Where, how does that feel? Do you know what, it feels amazing. It's just something I've always wanted to do when I, when I was a kid and stuff. We never got around to it, discovered drinking yeah. birds. So then it took a back seat. I've never had a drink problem, but I want these people, right? It's not like, if you said to me, do you want to go for a couple of beers? I go, well, a couple. I've got no cut-off point. I'll just drink, drink and drink till I go home, fall asleep, ah, oh, I'm done. Do you know what I mean? So, it's just more when I, when I, when I go out, I don't just have a few I drink to excess. I always, I always go overboard. 
You know, I'm never falling all over the place and stuff. I'm a big lad, aren't I? I'm sure we'll catch up again and Hope again and do. again. I'll be there at the fire and yeah. hoping. Yeah, nice to meet you, brother. You. Thank you, mate. Thank you. I've had a couple of occasions where I've been in the in the paper for the wrong reasons, you know, because I've done something stupid. But look, I'm only human. Humans make mistakes. Humans do silly things. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to always be known as as the party boy that's always out having a drink and doing something it shouldn't be. I want people to see a side of me where they go, oh my God, look, he's a professional athlete. And hopefully see that, they were there, that, I, had, that I had a talent there when I was a kid and I've managed to reignite. Oh, look at all this. Come prepared as usual, no boxing boots, no wraps. Ah. <laughs> Timing, what size are these? Over the last few months, I've been really struggling with my anxiety and depression. I went, you know, back to the doctors and, you know, I had to take medication. But I'm on the way up now and the boxing really has helped because I just think that it gives me a focus on saying, can it just stops me from thinking, oh, I feel down today, oh, I want to go and have a drink tonight. You know, go and have a drink, get drunk, and then feel worse the next day. So it was just a vicious circle. Like, boxing set me on a path where only positive can come from me. Actually, I I say, I'm not a reality star tonight. I'm a professional boxer. Right, let's do this. First day of training, this is gonna be quality, but I think I'm gonna find out a lot about myself today and whether I still got it or not, to be honest. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Okay. Yeah, good mate, what's happening? Ben Davidson is one of the best trainers you can possibly get. He's world class. I can't wait to learn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like a sponge, I promise. Right, Ben, so basically, I've decided I wanted to turn over. So I had a few amateurs, then ended up discovering booze and thought, not gonna do that anymore. So my last fight was probably four or five years ago, last time I got in the ring, and I lost as well. So I need to come back and this time, do it properly and take it seriously. First of all, do you want to just tell us why you decided to take Jack on as a, um, as a boxer? I've not decided to take Jack on. <laughs> My name is Ben Davison and I'm a professional boxing coach. I've worked with numerous world champions, three of the best that the world and this country's got to offer in Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders and Josh Taylor. I don't know you going into this, it's not like you've got a professional career that I can look back and go, OK, I can see strengths, I can see weaknesses. I need some time to take a look because if, if you're going to do this, it's got to be done seriously. I expect him to put his life and soul into what it is that he's trying to achieve. I want to help you, but I've got to see that you can help yourself. So we'll give it a week and, and, and we'll go from there. All right, mate. I'll, I'll probably, honestly, no, I promise you, I'll give you 110%. All right, well, get your kit on and then we'll get cracking. Sweet. So, Ben and Dave need to know how fit I am. They need to know how much work they've got to do and how much work I've got to do. This is a cardiometabolic unit. This measures the uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oxygen in, carbon dioxide. Well, like how much I breathe in and out? Yeah, and then we match that with your heart rate. And like, this is the data that we need. This is a massive lifestyle change for me. There's no eating rubbish anymore. There's no having a few beers with your mates anymore down the pub. There's no eating crisps. Oh, I love, love a crisp. I love a crisp. It's like boxing, focus, less win. This is a test at absolute max. Once you're done, you're done. So it's the all out max effort on this. Right, mate. So you're going to give me uh, three minutes at 35 RPM. Everybody's motivated on day one. Everybody can be motivated for a week. Can you be motivated for eight weeks? Can you be motivated when your body's sore? When you're tired? How committed are you? And then every minute on the minute will increase by five RPM until failure. You know, I've worked with numerous world champions and they all have that same thing in common where they will commit, they will stick with it. Up to 50. I call it the shovel. Because in boxing, you have to be able to just keep digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. Whenever it gets tough, you have to dig and dig and dig. Still using plenty of fat at the moment. <laughs> it's starting to get a little bit more difficult. You have to have a certain level of competitiveness that general people aren't supposed to understand and they can't understand it. Think quicker for me, think quicker. That's it, nearly getting to your max now. 
Yeah. 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 Dig in, Jack. Dig in. Keep going. You're not coming off yet. I really struggle going to like the gym and li you know lifting weights. I and mean, what am I training for? Do you know what I mean? Just so I can go, look, the beach is over there. I can't be bothered. I have to train for a goal. Dig in, dig in, keep going. Keep going. Oh. Yeah. Dig in. You have to be prepared to push yourself. The reality is, as I've said, you have to be prepared to die when you step in that ring, and that's an unfortunate truth. Right, those legs, right, those legs, come on. Dude, come on, last 15. Working with Tyson during his comeback, he put everything into it and look what he went on to achieve. I believe that it's certainly an achievable goal for Jack, but he's really got a lot that he'll have to put into it. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, I never want to see an assault back again after that. I've always said that I treat someone with the same work ethic as I would doing a four-rounder, as I would someone fighting for a world title. And I expect the same commitment back. Yeah, he's got big hands on him, but you know what they say about big hands? Big gloves. The, I didn't watch the show that he did. I don't know too much about oh, him. Mate, I, I'm telling you, ICL ice like, rolls are taking exactly how much money he didn't take. Like, really? I'm, I'm not joking, there's so much money he didn't take. I don't need to do this. You know, I work with a number of world champions. This is purely about helping Jack, and he's got to be committed to helping himself for me to be able to do that. <laughs> Good. Make sure that back foot comes back in with you with the right hand. Where you go, one, two. <laughs> Good. I've got a lot to improve on, specifically my footwork. Ah, uh, you took a step with your left foot there, five burpees. I was a pretty good amateur boxer, but I've just, you know, I picked up a lot of bad habits and stuff. Some of the stuff Ben said, I, I've learned more in two hours than I had in like years of boxing. See the difference already? Yeah. Much better. Being back in a boxing gym and training with an end goal, it's just so good for my mental health. I've always suffered, you know, badly with, with anxiety and stuff, and I go through bouts of it, and sometimes I can, you know, make bad decisions and go after rows. Being totally open and honest, I was in a, a, a bit of a bad place mentally, and, you know, I was, I was just, I don't know, I, was, I, I didn't really know what the problem was. I was just always down and, and I was doing a lot of like, negative self-talk. So kind of talking negatively about myself and not even meaning to do it. Um, you know, then we lost my nan and then like, then we had like lockdowns so, And I really, I just really, I just really, I just really struggled with the whole thing. Good, and relax. I wanted to feel proud of myself. And uh, I remember how proud and how I used to feel when I used to win at boxing. I'd go in school, I thought I was the man for the week. <laughs> and I remember that feeling and I just thought, oh, do you know what, like, you, you only live once. What's the point in being down? What's the point? Go out there, make something of yourself. I just want to feel, feel good about myself again and I want to be the best version of me possible. Good. 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 Never seen him box before. I knew he, when I watched him on Love Island, he had not done a box, he was doing pads in the bag. And, but no, he looks good. He looks good. Picking it up quick, quick learner. Not only is it like controlled, controlled aggression, it's like, it's the discipline. I need discipline, I need, I need routine and discipline. If I don't have routine and discipline, I get a bit like, I don't know what to do, and you know, I end up like just wanting to go out and, and have a drink, and you know, not really do anything productive with with the day. So for me, in my mental health, boxing, to be fair, in recent months has saved me a little bit. Good, and again. Good. So what I expect from Jack is for him to give his life and soul to the commitment to achieve his dream, because if he does commit himself properly. I can help him achieve his goal. Uh, but if he doesn't, boxing's a, a brutal yet beautiful sport and the reality is he could end up hurt.
messed up today. It costs the business a lot of money. Oh, it's embarrassing, do you know what I mean? It's the first and last time that will ever happen. I need you to stay focused.